friends so it's monday <coughs> morning i'm not sure what the time is um but today i am going to take the girls out with obviously our nanny for the first walk that i've done since surgery um i'm nervous because i obviously haven't done much walking like the furthest i've walked is like around the house or to the salon inside well i get dropped off outside the salon door walk into the salon come back out the salon so it's like not much i've got my apple watch on today so i'm gonna see how many steps i do i'm back on having um protein shakes um because i just want to like lose a bit of the weight that i've gained from all the medication and everything and i am drinking these special vitamin like drinks so it's not squash it's like this special powder stuff that i put in my water so yeah haven't got much makeup on today i think the girl's calling me um but yeah it'd be nice to um I, where i live there's a park quite close by so we're gonna go there um and yeah let's see how it goes so i'm gonna take you queens along the walk with me and um no doubt i'll be sitting down halfway anyway so yeah let's see how it goes so i'll see you all on the walk so ordinarily if i'm going to the salon i literally just put some sliders on put some more down there but today i've opted for trainers because we are going to the park um well we're going for a walk to the park um i've got my meds with me i'm gonna take my juice with me and I just want to ask a question for you queens. Do men just go on these random hauls, honestly? Like, is this normal? Like, I don't even know if that's normal. I now need to find my bag to put my medication in. Oh, he found her. So yeah, this is the tracksuit I'm wearing. It's matching so it's matching yes i'm ready to go so i will see you on my walk we're out on our walk are we out on the walk so we've got a little way up the road um fell down the curb but you know standard um but yeah so far so good when we get to the park, I'll just sit and update you all, but we're taking the long way round. I know I'm probably being a little bit, um, what's the word? What's the word when you're, oh, adventurous, that's the word. But, you know, that's the way it goes. And I'm walking on the double yellow line, so if I'm not here in 10 minutes, then we all know why. <laughs> Speak to you all in a minute. Hey queens, I'm at the park with the girls. Um, uh, I probably walked about 10 minutes from where my house is to the park and honestly I am absolutely exhausted um, I was supposed to stop in the shop and get some like bananas and fruit and stuff which is quite close but I don't even have the energy to do that so oh, I don't know how I'm going to do this like literally I honestly thought by four weeks post-op I'd be have so much more energy and be able to do so many more things but I really, I just haven't, and I'm just absolutely exhausted. And I feel guilty because of it. Um, I feel guilty on the kids. I've got Ariella's birthday on Saturday, so her birthday's the day before Halloween. Um, and I've got loads of lovely things planned and a party and stuff for her. And I've got a big balloon wall going up and a big birthday cake and like lots of cool presents. And like, I'm excited to show you all of that because I'm gonna vlog all of it as well. Right, I'm not gonna lie. I was planning on doing this walk by myself, but Laura and the kids come. I thought, no, I'll be absolutely fine doing it. Don't worry, it's only a little 20 minute walk round the fucking block. Well, my eyes are slowly closing up. My head is absolutely throbbing. If I hadn't have been able to come and sit down at the park with the kids, first of all, I don't know where I would have sat down. Second of all, I've forgotten my pain meds, but I've got a whole load of meds in my bag, but none of them are the right ones. If I didn't have Laura and the kids here, I'd look like some fucking weirdo, like half fallen asleep on the bench. Like my eyes are actually closing up. I'm that tired. And I'm gonna do this every single day for the next couple of weeks to try and drop a few water retention pounds. I actually can't believe it. 
I actually can't believe that brain surgery. After four weeks, you still aren't. You're making tiny progress steps, but like not enough. And I've got to go and get my nails done tonight. And I've got to get home. Like, I don't even know I'm going to get home. I'm going to have to walk. But in all seriousness, I was like, I'm going in the shop. I need some bananas, avocados, fruit. I thought, I ain't going to be able to walk around that shop. Plus walk to the park. Plus then walk home. And I've got my brand new Oswegos on that I've actually fudged already. And there's, only, there's, there's a shortcut at home. And then there's the way we came. Shortcut involves mud, lots of it. I might have to ruin the Aussies. <sighs> Can't deal with this any longer. This is life now, isn't it? Anyway, love you. Hey queens, um, I just wanted to come on and show the reality of such a major traumatic thing that you go through and the other side to it where you feel trapped and you feel like you're watching the world go by and you're just stuck because you're recovering and you're not well and everyone says no that they're proud of you and that you're doing great but you just see yourself going backwards I don't see myself going forwards and I'm living with the anxiety every day that it could come back To show you on this catch up that it's not all me trying to show you how well I'm doing because it would be a lie and you know I don't I'm really honest with you all but today I was determined to get up and go for a walk and I will I will do it later but you know it's half eleven now and I'm you know, I'm putting off taking my meds because of the way that they make me feel. But in turn, it's just hard to function. It's hard for everyone to understand because I don't know anyone else that's been through what I've been through. And so I can't speak to them right now and that's why it's so important for me to do these videos for you all and make you all see that actually there are really hard times but there are really good times too you know so I'm crying it's pointless but um, yeah I'll see you again soon Hey queens, just been on another walk, which you would have seen, and I'm back. As you can see, the walk's not that long because I've still got half of my morning shake left. Um, so today I am, my mum's gonna pick me up because I still can't drive at half 10, take me into work, not to do work though, to have a facial, which I've got no makeup on, facial and a massage, so lymphatic massage. I'm out of breath and it was only like 15 20 minute walk <laughs> that says everything um but i've been doing that now for three days um this is my third day oh my god i feel like i'm really sweaty um my hair isn't greasy i put a hair mask in it um last night and i'm leaving it in for my massage and everything because it gets oily otherwise my hair so it's pointless washing it um got my milana jumper on by Tara Maynard um I got mine in XL and I'm wearing it with cycling shorts I would show you but I'm not a fan of how I look at the minute so yeah that's why I'm not going to show you but um yeah so what else have I got to tell you it's Ariella's birthday on Saturday so I've got loads of bits to show you for that like I'm going to sort of take you on like a couple of days with her for her birthday because 
of the setup and obviously the actual birthday i won't be able to take you on because there's loads of children but i'll be able to show you the setup and where we are and stuff like that um but i will start a new vlog for that um so i'm not going to close this vlog yet i'll close this vlog later when um i've had my massage on my facial and everything like that oh that's a horrible angle this is like always my best side i mean i look so jobby with anybody that knows that have had like a major surgery have had like a setback where they can't do what they're used to doing in terms of fitness like i was super fit you know i was go as far to say as i could train as well as a man that sounds really bad doesn't it but like i was fit and now i've realized how it's not that i'm unfit now it's just that my body's tired so it's it's just recuperating but yeah, so facial and massage at 11. So yeah, I'll see you queens this afternoon looking a little less greasy and a little less sweaty. Hey queens, so we're just doing Ariella's party bags. I got these made on Etsy. Um, she's having obviously a Halloween inspired birthday party. So I've got some Halloween squishies, some sweets, some stickers, um, a little stamp and some rings. They light up, these little rings. So yeah, we're just doing that. And then tomorrow her cake will be here. So I'll show you what that looks like. And then, um, yeah, and these little cookies that are gonna go in there. We've got some little handmade cookies and her cake and it's down at somewhere called the house and it's just a halloween trail basically and i've kept these for the girls because these are what are left over okay queens i'll see you tomorrow hey queens so this is the second part to ariella's birthday events that i showed you yesterday so these are the balloon this is the balloon wall and faye did my balloons for my 30th which you would have seen Right, Faye, what is the next thing that we need to do on these balloons? Well, no, you need to do. So how, what else we needed to add um, to fill it? We've got a couple of ghosts, a spider, a pumpkin, some little mini balloons as well to add on. I mean, this is really big for a fourth birthday party, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> okay, Queens, I'll come show you once we're all done. But she's also made them some little um, Halloween, what are they, broomsticks? and also some little cauldrons look and all we've got to do is pop pop it the big bit and then confetti and um little chocolate coins will come out these are to take to where her birthday party is going to be which is at the house halloween trail with all her little friends so yeah i'm excited but i'll come back and show you when it's all done bye Hey queens, so whilst the bloom wall is finishing off, I just thought I'd show you Ariella's um, Halloween themed cake because her birthday is tomorrow, the day before Halloween. Um, so I got them some biscuits made to go into her bath party bags, which I'll show you. So these are little mummies. These are some moons and stars. Obviously you can see what these, these are, but I'm telling you anyway. These are ghosts, pumpkins and bats, but I'm calling them Batman. Um, yeah, so Lolo and Ginny are helping me with these. As you all know, I am still not well. But yeah, it looks really cute. I think we've done really well. Laura's literally just um, tying one up now. But I can't cope with this cake. Like, I don't know how we're going to get it to the party tomorrow without its head breaking, if I'm honest. But look at all the details, the cats, the ghosts, the eyes. Oh! I love it. Have you got one done up? Oh, look. Here we go. Here's one done up. Ariella's fourth birthday. Oh my God, it's so cute. Let's see how the blue wall is getting on. Hmm. Let's see how Faye is getting on. Excuse me, I'm not wearing much, just a t-shirt. Just... Oh, it's looking so good. Hey queen, so we're back with the finished product or should i say wall i mean i did this for my 30th but you know 
Oh my god. Okay, so now we've got the presents down here, which are all done. And I've laid out her cake, but I've kept it in the box because I'm gonna have to take that to her party, obviously, and the cookies that you saw earlier. Now I was just talking to Faye about balloon walls and I had one for my 30th. But Faye, what did you say to me? Um, most people have them for weddings. Most people have <laughs> most people have balloon walls for weddings, not for birthdays. Oh, and for baby showers. Four year old yeah. birthdays. Yes, four four year old birthday. But what we say in the King House is go big or go home. <laughs> right, Queen, so I've got to end this vlog now. Um, and I will see you all on my next one.